<laughs> Greetings curious minds and weary travelers, and welcome to my pop thoughts on Kingdom Hearts. I'm happy to see you. For those new to my channel or not in the know, a pop thought video is tied to a poll hosted in my Discord, specifically to give more information about the topics being covered in said poll. They will mostly be theory related since Kingdom Hearts is full of theory potential content that seems truly rather endless. If any of these theories on the poll interest you, or at least if you'd like to join in on having your vote counted in the poll to in order to decide which one of these is my next subscriber goal video, you're more than welcome to join the Discord. The link to it is available on my YouTube main page and is set to never expire. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and we very much look forward to seeing you there for Kingdom Hearts and chill. As you likely can tell by the title of this video, we're going to be touching on the subscriber goal poll options here a bit to make sure people voting on the subscriber goal topic are choosing what they're most interested in. I hope you enjoy. Now, let's begin. The first pop thought for this video is admittedly one I find myself personally having a bias for, and it's going to be on Chain of Memories. Specifically, how the worlds in the game are important to understanding the greater story of Kingdom Hearts as a whole. One that focuses on how with Chain of Memories and two written together changes the entire reading of the game from one about Sora and Riku, to one that was actually deep diving into showing the audience Ventus's past and future at that stage in development all along. It focuses on dreams, memory, connections, touches a bit on how far back Sora's inevitable conflict with the foretellers were planned, and how much the story changes if looking at it through the perspective of the worlds having been influenced from Ben's dreams and sleeping memories of his forgotten past. This one being such a massive twist that it will completely change how you see Chain of Memories, Dream Drop Distance, Union Cross, Kingdom Hearts 2, as well as make Coded to become a significant piece in understanding the greater Kingdom Hearts lore for the events that unfolded in Castle Oblivion, too. For our second option, we have the Lesser Six Darknesses theory. This one specifically going into the branching means to how they could be named and what they draw their strength from. While not the most original base theory, there are some ideas to contribute that might make it a more interesting coverage than what the community largely has already covered. Specifically, that the series itself may have already given away exactly what those six are. Last, but certainly not least of these pop thoughts is going to be the Dandelion Dilemma Theory. This one specifically focuses on how the remaining missing dandelions of Ephemer, Brain, and Skuld are going to arrive at the current time of Kingdom Hearts to finally have their grand reunion and join in the conflict against the Master and the Foretellers. This will of course also focus on the importance of the Master's Defender and the Wayfinders left upon it, including focusing largely on using our understanding of waypoints and the inherited pun to Wayfinders to explore their big return. This one will definitely give a bit more appreciation to the story of Kingdom Hearts 3 by changing the context of several scenes heavily. Did any of this help with deciding which you want to vote for in the Discord? I hope so, as all of them are so much fun to dig into. No matter which ends up winning the poll for the next subscriber goal special, I'm excited to share them with you. Please always be sure to take care of yourself, and may your heart be your guiding key. Hater! Ben! Isa! Darkness! Sora! Namine! Enough! Tara! This is it! You 